if you haven't already make sure you tap in to tapped in reviews my my boy Johnny man we trying to get the 500 you know what I'm saying this ain't a game so if you my people if you rep the city of Jackson alone I'm just talking to my Jackson people right now if you just from the city right now north side west side south side whatever side you from make sure you go on YouTube type in tapped in reviews hit that subscribe button it ain't gonna cost you nothing just hit that subscribe button man real rap What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tap In Reviews. Today, I got a special guest. Let them know who you are, man. Man, what's good, people? Uh, first name, Clinch. Last name, Harris. Straight out of Jackson, man. You know what I'm saying? By way of Georgetown. 833 oh. representative. Oh, yeah. JSU yeah, representative, you know. Now, I'm in uh, New Orleans right now, you know, just trying to make a living like the next man. But we here, though. Oh, yeah. We definitely here. Here, baby. So, yes, today, sir. man, you see what we trying, man? Bird Dog. That Bird Dog <laughs> Peach Flavored Whiskey. I know yeah, y'all like, man, this man do, reviewing all the bird dogs. Because I did the apple with Hood with Shaniqua. Yeah, with Shaniqua. Yeah. And I did the, uh, the blackberry with my boy James. And we're doing the peach with your boy Clinton. Hey. So, uh, a little bit about bird dog. It's peach flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 40% alcohol by volume. Most flavor alcohol is 35%. So, this one's going to have a little bit more, you know, kick to right. it. And, uh, Damn, that bitch got a government warning. All of them got government warning, man. I never <laughs> seen it saying bold government warning. That's crazy, son. And uh, what else about bird dog, man? And it's it's budget. So like, yeah. If you buy a crown, it's gonna be close to thirty dollars, probably twenty seven, twenty eight dollars. This right here, eighteen dollars. Can't be. So it's pretty decent for a flavor whiskey. You know what I'm saying? Right. So while I crack this bottle open, you can let the people know what you've been doing during the quarantine, man. Well, man. Um. Man, quarantine kind of had me at a standstill. Y'all know I work with um, I work with music. I'm a band director um, at Edna Carr High School in New Orleans, assistant band director. And uh, lately, we kind of been on pause, you know, with the whole COVID situation or whatever. But um, other than that, man, besides, you know what I'm saying, teaching the youth, you know what I'm saying, about music, I teach them about history, too. You know, we got to keep them woke, dog, for real. Man, got to keep them woke. So I'm just glad I got the autonomy to teach my class how I teach. But, you know. Um, besides all that, man, um, you know, uh, finish up schooling, man, trying to be a principal, you know, all that good stuff. Then, you know, I'm raising a young king, too. He just turned five uh, this past Friday. So, so um, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about me, you know what I'm saying? So, man, can't complain. Can't complain, bro. It could be a whole lot worse. Man, that's a, that's a blessing, man. I'm trying to grow this little wig out, man. Oh, yeah, I see. But, you know, I had to go get a haircut, man. I was like, man, I'm going to try to make it through December. I was like, nah, let me go and go get that haircut. Man, my baby ass tried to grow a beard. That shit was a struggle, so I had to cut that shit, <laughs> cut that shit out, man. Ooh, I think the ladies like baby face now, though, man. They, I, I know a lot of them like it, man, but you know, the beard is in. It's, tw it's, tw it's 2020, bro. Man, they, they like they like what they like. That's true. They like what the next person like, but we ain't going to get into that. Right. <laughs> hey, look, we going to let T.I. have that. Yeah, yeah. We going we gonna to handle that expeditiously. Expeditiously. <laughs> yes, sir. So, uh, usually on Tap the Reviews, we pick it up, look at it, see what it looks like in the glass. And yeah, then man. Give it a little sniff, see what we smell. One thing I noticed about it, man, I like the, um, even though it's a peach, you know what I'm saying, drink, it doesn't have that peach color to it. It's more like a caramel, like a, a amber type, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It definitely is a amber type. It gives color. it like a more like a, a bougie look. <laughs> yeah, it's like a like honey. I don't know. Gold. I don't, I don't know, know if it's know. the color of the cup, man. It's just. I mean, the cup clear, so it gotta be the color of the, of the spirit. It just makes you wanna. Swig it around. <laughs> you gotta swirl it around. See? Got a nice smell to it too, man. Man, what, what it smell like to you? Mm. Mm. You remember going to Miss Virginia Candy Lady? You know, you get them them bag of fruities for a dollar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might open up the peach one. Just <sighs> then when it smell like man. a peach, uh. <laughs> it smell good, man. Matter of fact, it smell like a um. What's the name of that drink, man? Is it Neha or Fago? I think it's Neha. Probably both of them. You know, both yeah. of them got peach. Yeah, both of them do. It's crazy. I smell all what you just said. And guess what I, Guess what else I smell? I smell like a little... It's like a vanilla type little smell mm -hmm. under it or caramel. I don't fucking know. But I yeah, smell I kinda, it underneath. I, I kind of sense that. Like a little vanilla extract. Yeah. Let me find out. It's like caramel color added. So yeah. I guess that's where the color come from. <laughs> right. So, uh, you don't tap the reviews, or uh, we tap it in for something, and uh, what you want to tap it in for? Man, 
Oh yeah, these ears dropping on Thanksgiving, y'all. So oh man, <laughs> let's just let's just tap in. You know what I'm saying? Just to to have life. You know what I'm saying? With everything with COVID quarantine going on, man. Just to have life, and you know what I'm saying? I mean, real talk. Just to be here, you know, because that's a blessing within itself. We think we get we get so distracted about the big shit that we just don't think about the simple blessings day by day, man. Yeah. So, Got to count them day by day, bro. I mean, let's tap this in for, for all of it, man. Yeah, it Happy is, Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving, baby. Hmm. Goes down smooth, man. It really do. Goes down smooth. It got a unique flavor to me. Like, I've had the crown peach once, and I really don't remember, but I yeah. remember it don't taste like that. Oh, man, cause I just was about to ask you, compare this compared to crown peach, how would you, you know what I'm saying? I that's hard for me to do because <laughs> the last time I had crown peach was probably two or three years ago. Ah, so but right. I just know this tastes different than the time I tried crown peach because I wasn't a big fan of crown peach. Yeah, man, I, um, I haven't had crown peach that much, but I know back in like undergrad, especially at Jackson State, man, um, E and J peach. I definitely had the the Irkin jerk. The Irkin jerk. You know what I'm saying? For those of you that don't know about the ENJ, man, that's the what I like to call the po man looking, you know what I'm saying? You in college, you on a budget, whatever. Get a feel so, you for know, ten dollars. You can't get the Hennessy for twenty five, twenty eight, man. So man, you just go get that fifth by five, what, five, seven dollars? Uh, fifth by ten. About ten. Cause a Hennessy about forty. Four true. Fifth. Yeah. That's true. Man, you get that you get that little bit of ENJ, man, Shh, that Irkin jerk will make it twerk for real. So do you like these just by tasting it? Bro, I'm fooling with it, and you know what's crazy? Um, I use I'm I'm usually big on like mixing. I'm not really like a heavy alcoholic, yeah. but you know what I'm saying. Um, dog, I can literally drink this straight. Yeah. So, question: Tell the people what you normally drink, like on a daily basis, mm-hmm. like if you just chilling or. All right. So, um, if I had to pick a go-to drink, I got two of them, y'all. Um, my first one is Woodford Reserve. I'm not sure if y'all ever heard of that, but Woodford Reserve, man, you get you some of that and some cranberry juice. Perfect. I heard good things about Wolf Perfect. Reserve. Perfect. You can't beat it, man. Because it's a, it's a bourbon, right? Yeah, it's a bourbon. Kind of like a bourbon whiskey almost, man. It's um You can't beat it, man. And I got this new uh, I got this new stuff I've been trying, too. Um, I haven't been... I'm not big on clear. Yeah. Um, but I've been... I guess it's because of the verses, but I've been drinking Ciroc lately. <laughs> <laughs> man, I've been... Um, my favorite drink today. Uh, if I had to pick a go-to drink, it would be coconut Ciroc and orange juice. Coconut Ciroc and orange juice. That's a weird combination. It's a weird combination, but I promise you, trust y'all. Trust me on this, man. <laughs> hey, y'all go try that uh, that Clancy creation out that coconut and that orange. Hey, juice. man, it, it got some. It got a nice little Caribbean feel to it. <laughs> orange juice and coconut. I would never thought that would mix. Hey, it, it's fire, bro. It's man. fire. And if you really want to be jazzy, it's substitute the orange juice with pineapple juice. Now that sound like a yeah a pina colada type feel, yeah. island type feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, I, I do like this, man. Let's let's uh, let's try this on the rock, see if it changes. Because exactly. usually we put a spirit on the rock, it'll open up some more, or it'll dial right. it down some. So shout out to the spirit, by the way, man. I don't oh know yeah, if y'all can really just, like uh, yeah, it's it's C. Yeah, it's that thing, that's Once fire, that liquid though. hit it, it just it get, it get clear. We gonna tap it in one more time, man. We gonna tap this in for uh, everybody. That, Man, we tap man, let's let's tap it in for reaching five hundred subscribers on tap in reviews. Hey, reaching the five hundred. Hey look, if you didn't get the message the first time, make sure you tap in to tap in reviews. We trying to get five hundred, man. So for the year out. For the year out. year out. For man. December thirty first. Let, let go. Mm. Man, this, this that's nice, man. Bird dog. Man. Dang. Bird dog. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look for this in New Orleans, man. Hey, man, it's, you can't beat it for uh, under twenty dollars. Hey, man, and you know it's quarantine, so everybody's on a budget, man. Everybody on a budget. I don't, I don't care if you if you bother. I might man. have to have a budget series where I have like all budget browns and clears, and so people can know like, hey, hey. and you know what? I think that'd be good too because you know New Year's coming up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. People, people probably don't want to hit the club, but they probably don't want to throw on the tux and then go out. You know, probably have a nice little summer in the crib. That'd be dope, man. This this bird dog, uh, bird dog has been surprising me, like for real. Because yeah, this is good. Now, one thing I can say, I haven't had a drinking session with bird dog. So you know, like how we just drinking it now and it's it's right. straight. I wonder how this would be if 
you drunk this like the whole night. We, would mm. you have a, a hangover in the morning? That really? I don't know. Man, we gonna have, we might have an experiment with that, man. Yeah, it's a nice. It seemed like a nice little drink, you know. You had to the side playing spades or whatever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just on some chill type <laughs> shit, man. But yeah, so like that's that's what I want to find out because usually like cheaper liquor it'll give you that headache, that's like true. over time. Ooh. So like this is good, but will it be good to you in the long run? Mm. Does it have longevity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's <It's>, real. <laughs> So, oh, you don't tap the reviews. We rate everything one to seven. One being trash, mm -hmm. seven being perfect. You know, number of completion. It's a perfect right. spirit. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to do neat versus on the rocks. Mm. So, neat, what would you uh, rate this one to seven? Oh, one to seven, man. I'm going to give it a um, I'll give it a four. Good four? I'll give it a good four. Because um, that's, that's on the higher end of the seven spectrum. Because yeah. I think. Three and a half is the halfway mark, so yeah. Right, and uh, one thing that made me think about it, too, is just thinking about, you know, the, the hangover aspect of it. I can't give it, you know what I'm saying? I don't see myself giving it anything past a, a six because I don't know how it treat me at the hangover. That's the real, that's the real test. Hey, right I, 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 like, I like your rank, man, because that's, that's... Yeah. So, uh, what about on the... Oh, yeah, what about on the rocks? On the rocks, I give it a five. 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 five I don't know six. what it... I, I don't know if it's... It's good, good, man. Like, I like the... Let me take that again. Oh, it's hey y'all, bird dog. Bird, bird dog. Where is it, man? Like I don't had the blackberry and the apple. Now the apple is, I like crown apple. So you know, yeah. And you know what? I, don't, I like crown apple too. So how would you compare the bird dog apple to the crown apple? Great question, man. Oh, mm -hmm. it's uh one thing about crown apple when you put it on ice, it gets smoother, but the flavor go away yeah. just a little bit. Shoulder. The bird dog, the flavor don't go nowhere. Like they be, I I can agree yeah. with the crown. It's like with <laughs> anything crown flavor, you put it you put it on the rocks. I I probably say not even. I don't even give it ten minutes. Probably like ten. Probably like five <laughs> to seven minutes later, you tasting a little bit of water in the flavor. Yeah, for real, man. So but, I feel like it might be that forty percent aspect that it don't go away. But yeah, man. I can't say about bird dog. It don't go away on the rocks. It, it actually like kind of bring it out to me. So hell yeah. So, like, if I had to rate this thing, man. What you eating, bro? Man, neat. Oh, we this, this this is good, man. It is, bro. Like, I'm I'm really thinking about, like, oh, dang, man. Let me try it again. I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking about, you know what I'm saying, either tomorrow trying to go to, um, trying to find this. Man, it's, it's easy. I'll give you the perfect place to find it after the facts, cameras go off. Facts, whatever. Facts. So, uh, yeah, and I can tell the people where to get it at. Uh, if you want to find it, I got this at, uh, if you're in the Jackson area, of course. Right. Some of my viewers are not in the Jackson area. True. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, I-55 Kroger, it's a it's a liquor store in their parking lot between a nail salon and T-Mobile. and in the time about No, it's not Corkscrew. It's, oh, wow. it's right down the street from Corkscrew. Mm-hmm. And like they pretty much they got strawberry peach. What I actually, like, is it like by uh is it by Nukes? Kind of like in that shopping center. You know like what Kroger? Foods? You know what Kroger? Yeah, I know what Kroger. Is. Same parking lot. Ah, say less. Yeah, same say parking less. lot. It's gonna be a T-Mobile right there, then mm -hmm. a nail salon, then the liquor store, and that's why I be getting a lot of my uh experience from. And then of course I go to Corkscrew as well. Oh ah, yeah, you can't beat that. Gotta go to see my boy Cole. Oh <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all holler at Core Screw too, man. Shout out to the people at Core Screw. They always take care of us, man. For Definitely. real. Real rap. So uh I would give this uh man. Neat. I'm I'm gonna go at least I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give it a four. Right. Like four like four sound back four is good for for well, four is good like out of out of one to seven the four is damn good to me. yeah that's over 50 percent. yeah definitely fucking right you so passed I, the test i'm gonna give it a four as well and neat uh i really like it neat i'm gonna I'm give it a strong six i hey. mean i mean on the rocks i'm gonna give it a strong six on hey. the rocks. i ain't mad at that six at all like yeah. i want to push it to the six but like i said i got y'all know the, the hangover yeah. aspect yeah and man. i'm just going just by by flavor alone on the rocks is something that i can see myself drinking Oh yeah, and then like if I didn't want to overdo it, I might put like a little splash of sprite in or something, baby. And see, one thing I like about this too, man, like um, it doesn't hit you too hard. You know what I'm saying? After you drink it, it could be like a nice little nightcap or whatever, man. Yeah. Like for real, you get you probably about two, two or three shots of that, you good. 
And I, one thing I like about this, I feel like, you know, like how people like just be taking shots. Yeah. I feel like if, uh, you know, how people be taking shots of, uh, what's that, cinnamon whiskey? Fireball. Fireball. Oh. Yeah. Like, I'm not a Fireball fan, but I feel like, uh, Ooh, this. Be, ugh, make my flesh crawl. Like, if, if I wanted to take, like, three shots of this, I feel like it'll go down smooth. And I, 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 I go on and feel it, you know what I'm saying? Because it's 40%. Instead of feeling like you swallowing a big red. Yeah. I, ugh, I, do, <laughs> I do not like no big red. No, I will drink Fireball. Oh, man. Because it's going to be, like, the cheapest shot at any bar. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Man, look, you just got mixed that Fireball with Coke. That's all. I can't get down with the the original flavor of it. Yeah. Because, you know, it feel like I'm swallowing a big-ass five-pack of Big Red. I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know. On the, Tap Their Reviews, mm-hmm. we uh, usually compare the spirit to something. So, like, uh, like it could be a person, place, a thing, or it can, can bring you, like, remember a time or something. Like, mm. what would you compare this bird dog peach flavor whiskey to? Damn, that's a good-ass question. <laughs> Take your time, man. Mm. You know Cause why you thinking? I'm gonna be sipping. Man, it, it it's crazy because you know what I'm saying. It has a smooth flavor. It doesn't have that typical after bio, that aftertaste, um, that normal browns have. Where you're like, ah. you yeah. don't, I don't, I don't really get that vibe from it. Um, at the same time too, you know what I'm saying. It's letting you know that boom, I'm a brown. You know what I'm saying. I'm here. You know what I'm saying. I'm a, I'm a whiskey basically. You yeah. know what I'm saying. So. um Dog, if I could relate this to anything or anybody. I'm ready for this, man. Man. You know, when I think about, um, y'all know I'm big on music and stuff, man. Um, I think about the rap game and who's hot right now, you know. Um, This reminds me of somebody that has, you know what I'm saying, has that presence. Been around for a minute, but you know. If you if you hadn't been listening to him, you wouldn't have known he'd been around a minute. Okay. You know, got fire ass punchlines. This bitch definitely punching. You know. Okay. Um, I I I had to say, man, I had to relate this to my boy. Shout out to him. So help me God for the album, uh, Two Chains, dog. Two Chains. Okay. Smooth under the radar. Ride the beat smooth. You know what I'm saying? Got the punchlines. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Two man. Let, well, I love Two Chains punchlines because they it's so he entertaining as hell. Right. Like, entertaining he really as hell. Is. Hey. I'm sorry to whom it, to whom it may concern. Two Chainz definitely in my top ten. I probably go as far to say in my top five rappers right now. Yeah, as far as currently out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And like um, I'm, my list kind of biased because I'm always a uh, well no my list not biased. It's just like that nigga in your top five right now. Like cool. Like I, I like Sada Baby. You know what I'm saying. Hey, but, ain't shit wrong with that, bro. <laughs> see, one thing I love about it, y'all, it's all about perspective. Yeah. That's one thing y'all gotta think about, man. It's it's all about perspective. Everybody got their why. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if I could relate br- this bird out piece whiskey to anything or anybody, smooth, you know what I'm saying? Letting you know they here, you know what I'm saying, got a presence. And at the same time too, it, just like you said, entertaining. Yeah. Two chains, baby. All day. And you and you don't know what it's gonna get. Cause like one thing about it, I don't know what I compare it to. I I can't think of that right now. If I do, I'll come back and let y'all know. But uh <laughs> <laughs> I do oh, like that man. comparison, man, because Bird Dog Peach is very good. Hey, and I got fine. a feeling like I've already created a bias in my head that mm-hmm. I'm going to like this more than the Crown Peach. Wow. And but it's crazy. I will do a comparison for y'all, like side by side, with the Crown Peach and the Bird Dog Peach. So I'm going to let y'all know. I'll probably be me and two other people, we're going to let y'all know what it's here for. Yeah, man. This thing is smooth, y'all. Y'all need to try this for real. Like if you know, if you never ever try man, anything, spend that eighteen dollars on it. Like it's it's well worth it for real. This is this is two. This is the price of a half a bottle of Hennessy. Mm-hmm. Like you, Hennessy is forty dollars. This less than twenty. Like Can't beat go check it out, man. Can't and then that. think about it. I say like you know, just take your time with it because you don't know how it's gonna. I don't know how it's gonna be. Like Ooh. I don't know if it's gonna give you a headache. Yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> One thing I gotta say is if if I was if I wasn't a single man, if I had a woman to go home to, hey gentlemen. <laughs> it's, it's gonna pop it up. For real, man. I might have to try that out. For real, man. So since we've been drinking a little bit, uh usually we have a two turn section of tap there reviews, but since it's Thanksgiving ah, <laughs> Since it's Thanksgiving first, mm-hmm. I want I want you to let the people know. We gonna say it's two. We gonna, first we gonna have a two two thankful 
session. Oh, man. Then we're going to go to the two turn, y'all. <laughs> so, man, what you thankful for, man? What you, you too thankful for, man? Man, look, if I could if I could Give me three of, things. Three. Three things? Three things. Right. So, if I can think of three things right out the back, man. First of all, family. You family. know what I'm saying? Um, it's a blessing to have family as a support system. And, you know what I'm saying? It's a blessing to be um, ahead of your household, too. Um, that's one thing I'm learning with this uh, fatherhood stuff. So, that's, that's a blessing within itself. Second thing, man, it's just a blessing to have A1 since day one, man, for real. Man. Um, I know some of y'all, um, if you probably seen me before, you probably know that I was a Jackson State drum major. Um, I've been on the yard. I was a head drum major for two years. And, um, you know, one thing that really kept me motivated throughout that whole time, you know what I'm saying, with that support system. And my support system, you know what I'm saying, the homies back at the crib. You can ask anybody. I just be like, man, I do it for the hood, you know what I'm saying, so. That's out the top. Third thing I'm thankful for, man. Uh, mm. Mm. That's a good. I'm thankful for this damn bird dog, son. I'm thankful for you introducing me to this bird dog. For real. I like that, man. Because I, like that. I, I really think this is. Jonathan, real talk, bro. This is this might be my substitute for my Wolf of Reserve, bro. Like, yeah. for real. Like, as soon as I go back to New Orleans, I'm going to be on the hunt for this. And if I can't find it down there, I'm going to make sure I have two bottles to take with me. Yeah. It, it, That's it, how serious it is. It's easy to find. I'm gonna tell you one of the flavors is like more likely to find. The blackberry mm -hmm. is more prevalent than all the other flavors that I've seen. Ooh. But you can find this. The blackberry ain't bad, but I like yeah. this a little more than the blackberry. Ah, uh, that that says enough. Yeah. So that says uh, enough. <laughs> it's crazy. I actually gave the blackberry higher because I was going basically off like what I taste like mouth wise. Right. And I wasn't thinking long term. So like longevity, I probably would drop that a little bit. But it still is up there. So, yeah. so Yeah, man. It's up there, dog. Man, that, that got to be the third thing that I'm thankful for, bro. I'm, I'm so thankful you introduced me to this. Yeah. Because I, I tomorrow, I'm going to look for this. Man, you can find it. I told you where to go. Yeah, you told me where to go. So, hey, look, I might be there like <laughs> 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Whenever they open up for real. 10 o'clock. 10 to 10. That's, gonna be, that's the Thanksgiving drink right there. Y'all, <laughs> take, a, take a good look at this. Look, it didn't even look Thanksgiving with the dog in the back. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Man, for real. It look like it's about to hunt a turkey. Oh, yeah. But look, this is the Thanksgiving drink, y'all. For real. Please try this, y'all. For real. If I had to say three things I'm thankful for, man. Mm -hmm. uh, family, of course. Because, uh, like, I'm, like, I don't talk to my family every day. True. But they, Same here. they're always in my corner, like, regardless of what Same I'm doing. They always support, always. And, bro, that's the beauty of it. Like, even though they family, you know what I'm saying? Even when you handle your business, they understand that you handle your business. You know what I'm saying? So that's the beauty of it for real. Real rap. Then second, of course, I got to go with the same thing you say. I'm thankful for my friends, man. Like, my support yeah, system, man. like, tap their reviews wouldn't be where it's it without <laughs> the people behind me that supporting me and sharing my stuff and all the new people that it brings and just facts man like so third, second is my support system and facts. friends because all of them been day one since Brinkley Lanier man, look. Jackson State <laughs> knee high to a grass high. <laughs> <laughs> for man, real bro it, it, it goes on and on like even even in the Rankin County area in Pearl and Brandon yeah. because I got a support system there like and uh and third thing, man, mm -hmm. I'm thankful for tap interviews because it's actually giving me something that I'm actually passionate about. Like, I enjoy doing this, and I, it don't feel like work. You know what I'm saying? It's I enjoy Hell yeah, talking to bro. people and drinking. Hell yeah! And it's and I want to just see that grow, and I want to mm -hmm. basically bring more people to see where this can go. Hell yeah! Because if more people see, like more people can start appreciating. Other things more than just Hennessy Patron. Hell yeah, man. Like, nah, that's, that's the main hey, goal. To you Jew-ass niggas. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm talking to to you Jew-ass niggas that stuck on Hennessy. To y'all wannabe bougie-ass Jackson hoes that stuck on Remy. Oh my hey, God. man. Hey, look. Hey, if I'm shooting, if I'm shooting shots. Sh 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 oh, well. Hey, man. Hey, man. Like it's New Year's. Look, shooting shots. Real talk, man. If you're not tapped in to tap their reviews right now to check out this other different looking man, you really missing out, dog. Man, I, just, I, mean, I just want y'all to open y'all eyes to different spirits. <laughs> straight up, man. Like, I don't, I got a couple of Ciroc bottles, but like, mostly it's different liquor. Like, okay. I, I, you got the boom, boom boo out here. Hey, look, shout out to my boy Yayo right here, man, for the boom boo, man. That's his shit. Hey, that boom boo. 
That was the first review I ever did, man. Hell yeah. I gave it a seven. Hey, shout out to that boy Yayo, man, for that for that boom boom, man. This the only Hennessy you gonna see me have. <laughs> Lord. The baby bottle pop. You no, know what I'm saying? That, I think the cup bigger than that bitch. <laughs> I'm only going to have this. Because I'm going to mix it with this. You know what I'm saying? The Incredible Hope. But hey. other than that, man, I don't drink Hennessy. Nothing against it. I'm just not a cognac fan. That's simple. Like Nothing against Hennessy. Like, right. That's all cognac. I think I think I done got so burnt out on it, bro. It's just. Yeah. Nah, I think that might be leading me to my two term mode. Okay, <laughs> so since, since we there, hey, let the people know. Uh, get, let right. the people know it's too turk, man. So let look, I'm gonna tell y'all like this, man. Crazy story. Uh, rest in peace, King Von. Crazy story though. Um, so at this point, it's 2014. Take it in time capsule a little bit. 2014, you know, I'm a quote unquote hot boy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hot boy. But I caught myself settling down. I had a girlfriend from USM at the time. You know, um, we're not together right now, but shout out to her, though, because she held it down. She was real. But, you know, we agree or disagree. And, and make sure you subscribe. Uh, yeah, um, I would name drop. I ain't going Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. But, uh, man, best to make a long story short, we had a game Saturday. Um, it was, I'm going to say, high school day. So we had something to do that day. We had to perform the AC. You know, at this time, y'all, I'm the head drum major. So I'm literally, like, as soon as you see the band, I'm the first person you see. Yeah. And um, so, you know, it's a lot of responsibility. You got to get 300, you know what I'm saying, of your peers together, which is not hard, which is not an easy task at all. It's, it's actually pretty difficult. But um, we played Grambling. You know what I'm saying? I'll never forget this. We played Grambling. I was staying out south off TV Road, bro. Okay. Played Grambling that day. I was dog tired, you know what I'm saying? Um, the bros, they had a party. I played as Kappa, y'all. Um, shout out to DD Noops and all that stuff, bro. But, um, you know, had a, they had a party that night. Then go to the party because we had to perform for a Saints game that Sunday. That Sunday morning, we had to perform for the halftime. So, I think the call time was like 2 o'clock. I think it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. Right after the game. So, it's 10 o'clock, you know. I go back to my crib in South Jackson, you know. I got my 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 lady friend there. You know, we chilling, you know what I'm saying. We sitting on the couch. Literally sitting on the couch watching Netflix or something, man. And um, fell asleep on the couch, forgot to put my phone on the charger. She wakes up, you know, it's, it's like, I probably want to say, probably like 407. Yeah. I want to say that was the exact time. 407. 407. She wakes up at 407, you know what I'm saying? She's like, babe, wake up. Don't you got a performance? Don't you got to do something this morning? I'm looking, I'm like, oh, snap. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was, yeah. The call time was at 2 o'clock, y'all. So at this point, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Yeah. So my phone's dead, right? So I'm like, fuck, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really, you know what I'm saying, do too much. You know, we drunk a little bit and we drunk Hennessy. Yeah. That was the crazy part. We drunk Hennessy. Um, make a long story short, put my phone, finally put my phone on charge, trying to pack up my uniform, trying to get all my stuff together, and, um, you know, finally get in contact with the, um, I guess you could say she was like the secretary for the boom. Yeah. Get on the phone with her. They've been trying to get in contact with me. Of course, my phone out. So... I'm calling them, y'all. Calling, them, calling, them, trying to call them back. They were like, "Yeah, we gonna wait at Metro Center for you." You know what I'm saying? So the whole band trying to figure out what the hell going on. They don't know God. what's going on. Damn, they don't know the head you fucking man. up, man. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> so um, basically, you know, I couldn't get myself together in time, so they went ahead and head to New Orleans with me. So you know, my girl at the time, I had to ask her. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, if I didn't make the performance, that was. At that time, under Dow Taylor, our banner at that time, you know, that was like a thousand, two dollars, two thousand dollar fine. I ain't have it like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To just be give out money like that. So, you know, I said, babe, I gotta find a way to make it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to her because she a real one. You know what I'm saying? Um, she drove me all the way to New Orleans. She actually got mad because I fell asleep in the car. She got mad because I fell I asleep mean, in the car the whole way up. But, um, make a long story short. Um, I ended up making it there about around the same time the band got to the Superdome. Uh, the band just got through warming up or whatever, and it was about to set up to run through the field show. Yeah, I literally walked on the field, bro. My squad, they they were the first people that came to me. You know what I'm saying? Then the rest of the band, they just start slowly, but you know, it did like the little slow clap. <laughs> the slow clap. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Because, you know, it was just weird, you know what I'm saying, for you to constantly see five drummers and this was possibly a situation where you were going to see four. Yeah. 
at at a um nationally televised football game at that. So you know, um yeah, because of that instance right there, I've slowed completely up on Hennessy. Um, actually, the smell of Hennessy it disgusts me. Man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I agree. But um, <laughs> if I could think of a two turn moment right off the back, man, that that would definitely be it. Man, that's that's crazy because like you 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 put a whole organization in jeopardy, my nigga. <laughs> hey, but it be like that sometimes. Like, it's, hey, it's you know what I'm saying. It is it, it's, it's crazy because you know at the time you don't think about it like that because you just going through the motion. Yeah. But going back at it, it was like, man, you know what I'm saying. Who was gonna do what I did? You know what I'm saying, or you know who's gonna keep the momentum up of the band? You know, all that stuff is really important. Um. Shout out to the guys is that now. Shout out to the Boom. Shout out Jack State. All oh, y'all, man. Uh, man, I really feel like they're gonna have a really good season. I'm gonna let them have the spring, you know. Yeah. You know, it's too much going on, but I'll be I'll be in Miami though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody talking about Miami. I might have to uh, book a trip down there too, man. Hey, for but real, dog. That, that story was definitely too turk, man. Like you, <laughs> <laughs> like this, this, man. that's on another level because like the the Boom is known like nationwide. Yeah, bro. And the fact that the the uh, yeah, J five, you know what I'm saying? It's known, and you not being there is not the J five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Regardless man. of what drum major missed, the fact that the head drum major gonna miss, like it's yeah, man. And it it it, it was just it was just a crazy situation, man. Because honestly, I'm always like the first person there. Like, yeah. if anything, I'm 15 minutes early. Yeah. So, <laughs> All right, Dr. Lee. Bruh. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. So, it's like, okay, you don't see me 15 minutes early. You don't see me at car time. You don't see me when we going through the road. You don't see me when you're leaving the bus. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody load the bus and stuff. So, it's like, damn, is he okay? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The whole time, I'm good. You know, I'm not really hung over. But, you know, I was making a careless mistake. I was like 21, dog. Like, yeah. Forgot to put my phone on. That, that was years ago, man. Yeah, you man. Live and you learn, man. Hey, thank God for growth. Thank God for <laughs> growth, man. Like, it's... For real, man. Man, happy Thanksgiving to that, man. Happy... Man, that's... I, I enjoyed that story, man, because it's... I even know that, because I remember that year when y'all played in the Dome. You know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah. remember that. Man, it's crazy, bro, because, you know, a lot of people, they always come up to telling me, even, even to this day right now, 2020. It's, it's crazy because people say between the years 2010 to 2020, you know, that 2014 year and the 2013 year was real special. And a lot of people try to credit it to me, but honestly, dog, it was so many working parts in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm i not the type of person to take credit anyway, but, you know, it's, it's so many working, it was so many working parts in it. You know, it's like everybody was winning, you know, and that's what it's about, bro. Regardless of what you do, as long as everybody winning, as long as everybody eating, that's all that matter, dog. You know, so. Man, I definitely agree, man. Like it's, it's good with everybody eat because it's like, it, it's just good. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't. Oh uh, yeah, like, everybody. It's, it's something everybody can benefit from. You yeah. Know? And I love the boom. Like, like I I would love. I didn't want to be a part of the boom just because I'm not about that life. Yeah. But like, there's something that I kind of hate. I missed out on because I wasn't. In the band in high school, like probably like yeah. one year, but you know what I'm saying. But that's another story from because I used to play trumpet, whatever. But yeah. that's another story for another dog. Time. And I ain't gonna even lie to you, man. If I could, um, if I could do everything all over again, man, I would. Um, it's crazy because it just seemed like to me, with me being in the position, you know, seeing the seeing the game, you know what I'm saying, hanging out and chilling. It's like, dang, I want to go out. You know what I'm saying? I want to have fun. I couldn't even do it. Cause I'm at band practice. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it's crazy too because I've never been to a homecoming uh, event ever, ever. Period. That's crazy. Even from my tenure there, um, I probably say my first homecoming event I've been to was a step show, and I was a judge. That was like 2016. I was long gone then, y'all. Yeah. Um, but during my time there, I never been a part of step show. Never went to anything homecoming wise. Never really just had a chance to join my social life. Really, you know what I'm saying? If you wanted a band. Or you won one of my day ones. It really was just like, you know what I'm saying? F you, no disrespect, but you know, yeah. I ain't know you. Or, you know, you want family to me. And your time was consumed. You, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Heck yeah, man. Not saying they weren't worth your time, but oh, nah. it's just your time is so consumed. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And you got to sleep. That's true. You and I'm about sleep. to say one big takeaway from that whole experience, bro, is time management. Yeah. Time management. I'm, so, I'm such a stickler on time, even as a teacher. 
One thing my kids will tell you, I time they ass on everything. They really hate me on that shit. <laughs> it's all good. You know, hey, you be like better. this all time. Yeah, man. <laughs> Man, I appreciate that two time story, man. Like that's something that people can really take to heart. Cause like you, like one, every piece matter. Like oh, yeah. I feel like that's the main thing I took from this story. Like every piece matter. Like regardless of if it was really? a, a flute player missing, you know what I'm saying. Like all that matters. You know what I'm saying. From yeah, the drum, man. From the drum majors to the to the the band managers like all that matter real like, talk man even even to the you know what i'm saying the freshman members everybody you know has a has a role to play and you know when one person is missing regardless of what their role is you know it could throw everything off yeah it's you know a trigger down effect man, I, I appreciate that man happy thanksgiving to everybody like happy thanksgiving y'all man for real happy man thanksgiving bro hey man happy thanksgiving man real shit i already know baby. so uh they, you can let the people know where they can follow you on social media. Yeah, so look, if you want to follow me on social media, hold up, y'all, because I, I think I got the, I don't know if I have an underscore or not on my name. <laughs> but um, I really don't know either. You know what I'm saying? Um, what is it, like, Clint Dog and Dog? Or it's shit? just Clint Dog, man. But if you want to follow me, y'all, uh, it's Clint Dog underscore, K-L-I-N-D-O-G-G underscore. All okay, right. I'm gonna put it on the screen for y'all. So yeah, y'all man. Um, but if you want to follow me, man, you know, get some. You know, I post. I'm, I post on my story more than I post. Yeah. So yeah, if you really want to get a snapshot, you know, what I'm saying who I am or what I am. Matter of fact, my um my bio is you can tell who I am by what I say and what I do. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all follow your boy, man. You know, it's nothing but positivity over here. You know what I'm saying, ladies? I'm single. <laughs> you know? Uh, so you, you too. Yeah. Hey man, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, if you know you feeling froggy, then leap. It's 2020. Women been shooting that shot, you know. So oh yeah, uh, hey women, hey, make sure y'all shoot y'all a shot 2020, man, because y'all gonna yeah, miss man. out. Like it's, it's niggas out here that ain't gay. <laughs> Cause they, what, be, they what? be swearing. They be swearing. <laughs> man, it's almost like if they, it, it's almost like if a dude doesn't conform to what they want them to conform to, they automatically. Well, I just like, I just got through dealing with that the other day, man. Crazy New Orleans women, bro. Woman try to shoot a shot. Y'all, women in New Orleans aggressive as <laughs> fuck. Man, woman try to shoot a shot. I'm like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? She little ratchet, whatever. You know, I ain't got nothing against the ratchets. You know, I can't say no to the ratchets. Yeah, I said no to that one. But um, yeah, man, she just, you know what I'm saying? Came at me real aggressive, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm Charlie, you know, I'm like, I'm straight. She like, oh, you must be one of them fun boys or something. I said, baby, ain't nothing about me, gay. <laughs> For real, I just had to let her ass know. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to my people who are, um, you know what I'm saying, of the alphabet family, L G B T Q I A B C D E F G. Whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To each his own, you know what I'm saying? Nothing against y'all, but uh as for me and my house. Yeah. I can't I can't roll like that, man. But yeah, man. These, these women are trip, man. You gotta watch them. They'll set you up, dog. Yeah. Definitely. For real. So you gotta find somebody solid, but that's another episode for another day. <laughs> oh yeah, man, bro. I yeah. might have to start a podcast because it's it's definitely a hell of stuff we can talk about. Hey, bro, I I've been telling you. I don't know if you remember me telling you this, but I said, dog, I can definitely see tapped in reviews transitioning to a podcast, dog. It but might you, be two different segments, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm definitely gonna steal. Tapped in reviews is a liquor review channel, the number one <sighs> liquor review channel in Mississippi. I'm claiming it. Hey, that's it. <laughs> that's it, right? The now. one and only. Of course, follow Tap the Reviews on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Yeah, man. I'm not on Snapchat, but uh, <laughs> Tap the Reviews, Facebook, uh, Tap the Reviews, all together on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. Hey, I I, I put it all on the screen, man. Like Take this, care. this was a dope ass review, man. I hey, enjoyed bro. this bird dog peach. This it right here, y'all. Like, I'm gonna I'm <laughs> go, not. man. I gotta I gotta work at 4 a.m. But I'm gonna sleep good knowing that this bird dog peaches in my system, man. Man, dog. It's, <laughs> I think I think it's hitting me a little bit too. I'm not really too much an alcoholic, but you know, I got that nice little buzz from it, and that's all you really want from me, alcohol, man. Honestly. Yeah, and I I feel like the people noticed that while you was telling your story, I was pouring up. You know what I'm saying? I pour yeah. up, me a little shot, to take it, a little shot, to take. It. Yeah, shoot. So like, you want you want to take a little shot? You know what I'm saying? For hey, me? man, yeah, we, 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 you know we'll do it neat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Hey, this Thanksgiving, y'all, man. Hey, listen, y'all, make sure y'all eat y'all uh, ham because I'm ham over turkey. Boy. 
I don't know about you. Yeah, man. I'm um I'm I'm actually doing the turkey today. I'm experimenting this year, y'all. I'm doing a deep fried turkey. I oh. haven't done it uh in this year, so well, I haven't done it any other years. And this is kind of like my first time getting on it, so yeah. Yeah, so, man. Uh, we gonna toast this in for Thanksgiving, man. And uh, real talk. We gonna we gonna end on a good note because I'm lit and I'm at home, so I know you gotta drive. Hey, like, I ain't gotta the drive street. that far. Yeah, yeah look, across the street, I'm like around the corner, down the street. You know. Hey, uh, tap the reviews. Tap the uh, reviews, y'all. Clancy, Sam, Clint y'all. Dog, you y'all know make what sure y'all follow me at Clendog underscore. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all tap in the tap in reviews. If you can't find it, go on YouTube, hit that search button, t- type in tapped in reviews. Literally, all right. You it's gonna pop up. Should, you should see it pop up, man. Just hit that subscribe button. No, it's not going to cost you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just support your own, bro. All right? Just just saying, man. More life, baby. All right, man. Tap the reviews. Tap the reviews.